In this video, we will be running the first programs on your new PIC32. First, we need to navigate to the PIC32 Quick Start directory, which you extracted if you followed the previous video. This folder contains the code you need to get started. Type dir to list its contents. First notice, nu32utility.c. This is the bootloader utility code. The bootloader utility lets you load programs onto the PIC32. First, we need to compile this using the native C compiler, which should be on your path. If it's not, please see the previous video. Type gcc nu32utility.c-o nu32utility.exe, which will create the program nu32utility.exe, and then we also need to link it with the lib winmm library by typing dash l winmm. Press enter. Now your NU32 utility is compiled, and if you type dir, you'll see nu32utility.exe in the current directory. Next, with your PIC32 unplugged and powered off, type mode. This will list all the COM ports on your computer. Now, plug in the PIC32 and turn it on. Wait for it to install, and you might need to wait a little bit, and then type mode again. Here you see that we now have a COM3 device added. COM3 is the name of the serial port that the PIC32 uses on this computer. It may be different on your computer, but make sure to remember what this is, possibly even write it down. You will need it later. Next, it's time to compile the first code, simplepic.c. To do this, we need to use the XC32 compiler provided by Microchip. Again, assuming it's on your path, type xc32-gcc simple pick.c. Now we need to add some custom commands. So we can do dash m processor equals 32mx795f512h, which tells us what processor model we're using. And then we need to pass some options to the linker. So do dash wl comma dash dash script equals skeleton slash nu32 bootloaded dot ld this is the linker script we want to use dash o simple pick dot elf and press enter now we need to convert the elf file to a hex file we do this using xc32 dash bin to hex simple pick dot elf the hex file is the file that we actually load on our computer now, we're going to look at the PIC32 development board. Hold the reset button and the user button, then release the reset button and the user button. You should see the single LED flashing. That means that the PIC32 is in bootloader mode and is ready to accept your program. Now, run nu Now run nu32utility.exe, specify your COM port as backslash backslash dot backslash, in this case it's COM3, and we do simple pick dot hex, and press enter. After a little while, the program should have loaded. If we look at the pick again, you can see the two LEDs flashing back and forth in rapid succession. And if you hold the user button, notice that we can stop the LED. And if we release the user button, the LEDs flash again. When you get to this point, congratulations because you have successfully run your first program on the PIC32.